in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory for ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Hear my crying, O God, and listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you with fainting heart. O set me on the rock that is higher than I, for you are my refuge. A strong tower against the enemy, let me dwell in your tent forever. And take refuge under the cover of your wings, for you, O God, will hear my vows. You will grant the request of those who fear your name. You will add length of days to the life of the king, that his years may endure throughout all generations. May he sit enthroned before God forever. May steadfast love and truth watch over him. So will I always sing praise to your name and day by day fulfil my vows. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion. To you that answer prayer shall vows be paid. To you shall all flesh come to confess their sins. When our misdeeds prevail against us, you will purge them away. Happy are they whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. We shall be satisfied with the blessings of your house, even of your holy temple. With wonders you will answer us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation. O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, in your strength you set fast the mountains, and are girded about with might, you still the raging of the seas, the roaring of their waves and the clamour of the peoples, those who dwell at the ends of the earth tremble at your marvels, the gates of the morning and evening sing your praise. You visit the earth and water it. You make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare grain for your people, for so you provide for the earth. You drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges. You soften the ground with showers and bless its increase. You crown the year with your goodness and the paths overflow with plenty. May the pastures of the wilderness flow with goodness. And may the hills be girded with joy. May the meadows be clothed with flocks of sheep. And the valleys stand so thick with corn that they shall laugh and sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Hosea chapter 6, beginning at verse 7. But at Adam they transgressed the covenant. There they de dealt faithlessly with me. Gilead is a city of evildoers, tracked with blood. As robbers lie in wait for someone, so the priests are banded together. They murder on the road to Shechem. They commit a monstrous crime. In the house of Israel I have seen a horrible thing. 
Ephraim's whoredom is there, Israel is defiled. <clears throat> For you also, O Judah, a harvest is appointed, when I would restore the fortunes of my people, when I would heal Israel, the corruption of Ephraim is revealed, and the wicked deeds of Samaria. For they deal falsely, the thief breaks in, and the bandits raid outside. But they do not consider that I remember all their wickedness. Now their deeds surround them, they are before my face. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth, and darkness the peoples. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, or moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, your God will be your splendour. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. First letter to the Corinthians, chapter 11, beginning at 17th verse. Now in the four following instructions, I do not commend you, because when you come together it is not for the better, but for the worse. For, to begin with, when you come together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you, and to some extent I believe it. Indeed, there have to be factions among you, for only so will it become clear who among you are genuine. When you come together, it is not really to eat the Lord's Supper. For when the time comes to eat, each of you goes ahead with your own supper, and one goes hungry, and another becomes drunk. What? Do you not have homes to eat and drink in? Or do you show contempt for the Church of God, and humiliate those who have nothing? What should I say to you? Should I commend you? In this matter I do not commend you. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves, and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judged ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined, so that we may not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If you are hungry, eat at home, so that when you come together, it will not be for your condemnation. About the other things, I will give instructions when I come.
O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is King. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. This is the Christ, the Chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Let us pray. Give thanks to God for the night which has passed. Pray for the new day which lies before us. thanks for the church across the world in all of its variety traditions and cultures today we pray with and for the bishop priests and people of the diocese of albany in the episcopal church of the united states and within our own diocese we pray for all who hold the office of church warden Praying particularly for Matthew and for Andrew. We pray for all engaged in medical research. all engaged in health care we pray for those whose lives continue to be affected by the coronavirus pandemic all those who are homeless. All those from whom the revelation of the glory of Christ continues to be hidden, that they may come to know him and love him. Almighty God, whose Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonder of your saving presence, renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.